Hello, my name is Raven. Welcome to my part two of using SpeedTree in UDK. All right, um, I've reopened our tree project because I just wanted to, when I was working on the second uh, part of the tutorial, um, the UDK kept crashing and I finally figured out why. Um, on some of the trees I made, I didn't have to do this, but in our case, we are going to have to edit the level of detail. Um, this is the default. If you were to import this into the speed tree compiler it would change the LOD for you and it would uh, crash uh, the UDK or the light mass well the lighting would not would not work so we're just going to change this to 175 the 250 um, 250 one billboard end at 350. Okay, so once you've adjusted all that, then we're going to go to Unreal. Okay, all right, now I'm going to assume that you remember how to edit everything from the other tutorial and you can recompile it. Sorry about that, I uh, had no idea that it would do that. All right, so let's go on ahead and import our tree and everything else. Alright, go on and open it. I'm going to put it in package speed tree. And I'm going to hit OK to all. Alright, I'm going to have, might have to wait a little bit here before that will get done. Okay. Alright. So now that everything's done, you can see your tree right here. All right, let's go ahead and uh, quickly create a ground to put our tree on. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create our material, our uh, our materials for our tree. So go on ahead, select conifer bark, or whatever your trunk and branch tree is. Uh, sorry, texture. Open up the material editor. Uh, just like in Kismet, holding down control will allow you to um, move whatever node you have selected. So just go on ahead and uh, connect it over to the diffuse, then hit the little check. Alright, that's all we have to do for that. Then for, you, for our texture, atla texture atlas diffuse, right click it, create another material. Open up the material editor again. Go ahead and reposition things a little bit so we can see. <laughs> Sorry, having some issues here. Okay. Go on ahead and take your texture sample and put it on diffuse. Click your te texture atlas normal. Go back to your to do the material. Right click, uh, texture texture sample. Go on ahead and apply the texture sample to the normal. Alright, now we need to add in two things for transfer the opa opacity. So we're going to need a constant vertex color and then math new add. Take the alpha from the vertex color and put it on the B. For the texture sample, put it on the A. And then for the Add, put it on the opacity mass, hit the check. Alright. Now that we have our materials done, double click our speed tree, our tree. Fill the conifer from mat, apply it to the branch one. And it might freeze up a little bit. For you, it might not. Apply it to branch two. Get your texture atlas mat, apply it to the leaf card. This again might also freeze up when you first apply it to the leaf card. Ah, right. Go back to our texture mask. Sorry, I forgot to change blend mode to mask. Then recompile it. And wait. Alright, took a little bit longer than 
expected. Okay, so now you can see our lovely tree. Um, also apply it to the build mortar material. Um, I do not believe you have to apply it to the frond material or the leaf mesh material, but you can if you want to. Doesn't really seem to hurt it. Uh, for wind strength, I'm gonna set it to 20, just because I like it really, really windy. All right, now so select your tree, and drag and drop, and then scale it way up because it's really tiny. All right, and there we go. We have your tree inside of Unreal. All right, double click our tree, go to Speech Reactor, and I'm gonna go on ahead and enable dynamic lighting instead of static. Sorry, I uh, forgot to uncheck static. Okay, don't need that anymore. Now let's add a really quick Let's add a directional light. All right. Now let's go ahead and redo all the lighting. All right. Might have to wait a little bit here for the light mass. Okay, um, well, after many, uh, it uh, crashed on me on the first time I tried to rebuild the lighting and I finally figured out why. The first thing is, is you cannot have a directional light. I'm not sure why, I'm pretty sure you can, there's probably a setting. So uh, instead I put up two point lights. And as you can see, this is a uh, real time view. It looks exactly like this when we are in the game testing. Um, we need to go back to our content browser and under your material I went on ahead and removed the normal map texture because it was it made the leaves far too dark and there's probably something I don't know to fix that and now all the leaves are nice and bright and colorful alright um, so basically uh, build it with the point lights um, unless uh, if any of you guys know how to fix that directly uh, please reply or send me a private message I'd uh, love to know and when you build the lighting uh, do not build it with light mass without light mass it uh, also seems to crash that way too okay so uh, thank you and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial